What, what does that mean to you? I mean, it's a great honor. Uh, it's awesome. Uh, I mean, I'm super thankful for it. And I mean, I got to thank everybody around me, all my teammates, coaches, uh, ever since I've gotten here. I mean, they've done everything they can for me. And so uh, for me to go out and apply it on the field and to put myself in that position, it's, it's pretty neat. And I'm, I mean, I can't say any more than that I'm super honored. It's got to be pretty cool. I mean, you from Riggins, Corey was from Glens Ferry. I mean, two, two smaller school Idaho guys being able to do that the last two yeah. years. Yeah, I mean, even even watching even watching him play when I was growing up, uh, I mean, he was always he was always a guy that I thought was awesome, seeing him fly around on the field and everything. So uh, to kind of fill his shoes later on, I mean, kind of wild on the road, not necessarily so soon, but uh, it's pretty neat and and to see that carry over. So it's pretty it's pretty awesome. How, how'd you find out about the the news and what was that moment like for you? Um. Avalos let me know. Well, he he didn't let me know, but he told me he's uh, like literally the exact same time it came out. So uh, it was a pretty special moment for us. And I mean, he's done everything. He's done everything he can for me. And so, I, I mean, I can't thank him enough because from from the moment I got, even in the recruiting process, he's the reason I'm here. And uh, and I mean, all the coaches for giving me a chance to be here and everything because it's always been my dream, always been my dream to play here. So. Uh, it's it's pretty neat, and uh, I mean, all all the props to him. He's a great coach. It shows up. You know, he's always you know he's always going to give his best every single day, and it carries over into his players. How do you uh, since you've been here? How have you kind of continued to raise the bar for yourself? Because you went from walk on to scholarship player, scholarship player to playing time, playing time starter, and now you know the defensive player of the year in the conference. Mm -hmm. How have you just kind of continued to push yourself? I mean, growing up, everybody told me I couldn't do things, and uh, even still, like some people will have doubts and everything, and that just drives me even more. And I mean, it, it lights a fire in me every single time someone tells me I can't do something. And so I'm not gonna let anybody tell me I can't do it. Was there who tells you you can't do something, or, or, or what? What is it that you can't do? I guess. I mean, it was more so growing up and stuff. I mean, it was always it's always been my dream. To play. It was always my dream to play here, and even play in the next level too in the NFL. So, uh, I mean, people tell me I can't do it when I'm growing up and knowing how big that dream was for me and how much that meant to me and, and not letting anything stop me or get in my way of it. I was gonna, I was gonna bust through anything. I was gonna do anything I possibly could to make it happen. And now that my dream came true to play here, I mean, it's, I gotta make the most of it because it's actually happening. And I can't take anything for granted. You don't take anything for granted any, any day at all. Uh, you gotta take advantage of your opportunities and, I mean, to make the most of it. This might be a dumb question, but you mentioned the NFL. I mean, are you going to give that any thought this off season, or are you fully anticipating I'm, being back for next year? I'm not. I'm not going to. I'm not gonna really going to talk about it. I'm not. I've. I've kind of pushed that to the side. Um, I haven't been focusing on it. I got one. We have one thing that's on our mind right now, and that's winning a championship. With uh, with Fresno State, I think you got to look at them. And um, what stood out to you about their offense? I mean, they're explosive. They showed it uh, when we played them last week. They got. A, they got a bunch of good athletes. Uh, they can run the ball if you aren't focusing on that, and they can pass the ball like it showed. So I mean, it's, I mean, defense has got to be got to be in full communication and full tilt when when you come to play them. Uh, Y'all got to be on the same page and, and know what's coming. Their, their old line, you know, seems like that that's been a big reason for a lot of their success and giving up seven sacks and protected the quarterback and all that stuff. How, how much has their line stood out to you, and how much of a, you know, challenge was that? I mean, yeah, they're they're a, they're a really impressive group. Uh, you got to give respect to them. Um, I mean, they do very. They, they do a great job of protecting their quarterback. I mean, because because he touches the ball every single play. So uh, if he's not in protection, I mean, you're probably not going to be very successful. So it shows they have a very they have a very great group uh, up front, and it starts there. When you think about you know, I know you kind of mentioned when you think about where you, your journey to get to this point, where you came from, and playing different positions in eight man and walk on. Now here you are honored as the best defensive player in the league. I mean, when you just kind of think about the whole process to get to this point, how, mm -hmm. well, how do you put that into words? I don't know if there's a certain way you can. Uh, I mean, it's special, and uh, I mean, it's everything's a process, and you just got to simplify it. And that's another thing Avalos has really helped me with this year too, is simplifying, simplifying things and making it easy and controlling, focusing on the things that I can control, ignoring all the outside noise and and things that you can't really take into your own hands. I mean, if you can, if you can simplify that and really take and really break things down and, and take control of take control of one aspect here and one one of the other. Uh, just break your day down, make things easy. Uh, it takes a lot of stress off you. It lets you really focus on what you're doing, the task at hand. We talked about you know this young defense all before the season, all these young guys, not a lot of experience, all that. You had eight 
eight defensive players honored by the league, you know, in some capacity today, and yeah. nine if you count Avery on special teams. I mean, what's that say about you guys as a group to have literally almost mm-hmm. everyone on your defense get some sort of honor? It doesn't surprise me. I mean, I mean, the guys, we come in here and we work together every single day, and you know what kind of guys you're working around. So it doesn't surprise me one bit. I mean, I'm happy for every single one of them. And, again, they got to give credit to, to their teammates, too, and the coaches, too, because, I mean, they're, they're the reasons – the reasons that uh, everybody's having success because if you have one successful person around you and uh, and, you, and you got that good energy and everything it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna feed off onto others and and other people are gonna grow to that too so they're gonna attract to it so I mean it's contagious did you, you know, make, did you know the awards were coming out today were you thinking you might have a chance at this award I mean were you kind of waking up wondering if you're gonna get it or not or? no no I mean we've been focused pretty we've been focused every single day I mean we're we're trying to win a championship right now and that's the only thing that matters and I mean I think we've had great energy and great focus so far this week, and we got to carry that over every single day. I mean, we got meetings here in a little bit. We're going to go in there and give it our all, focus up, take everything in that the coaches have to tell us, and, and go apply at practice and have another great practice like we did yesterday. It may remain to be seen. Obviously, you guys still have a game to play, but what have you maybe learned about this team or about you guys? What did you take from Saturday's game? What have you, you know, figured out in the last couple of days? What have you learned about yourselves? I think just being resilient, uh, the resiliency on, on the team. I mean, we're, we're a young group, and we feed off energy off of each other. So, I mean, bouncing back after that game, I mean, everybody was like, all right, let's go. Like, it's it's time to go. Like, everything we got, I mean, we got nothing to lose now, and we're playing at home. So, it's going to it's gonna be special. It's going to be awesome. With uh, you said kind of mentioned it, that, you know, that, that previous loss when you guys lost to Virginia seemed to be a wake-up call of sorts. That seemed to be something that really changed this team's mentality. I mean, a loss can, in a way, have a silver lining. And I mean, do you feel like do you guys can you guys take the same thing from this last week? Yeah, I mean, you can you can take you can take from it whatever you whatever you please. Um, but I mean, I think we've I think we've done a great job of that and focusing back up, uh, moving on from it. I mean, you obviously got to learn from your mistakes from last game, and and it's cool because then you get, you get I mean, it's cool because you have another chance to go to go fix it and play the same team again. So that's pretty neat, and you don't get very many chances to do that. Well,